In this video, we'll be covering basic admin training on your partner messaging slotted card in your partner phone system. So log into the administrator's mailbox. You can either hit intercom 777 or your VM button or VM access button. Your VM access button is a button that's programmed to hit intercom 777. The administrator's mailbox, it'll ask for your extension. The extension is zero, then pound, and by default, the password is 123456. If you changed your password, or if your password has been changed, you'll need to look that up to see what your password is. Once you get in, you want to hit option 9, which is a silent option. It's not going to tell you your option. So let's go ahead and, and uh, get into this. So, intercom 777. Please enter extension number followed by the pound sign. The extension number is zero pound. Enter password followed by the pound sign. Your password by default is one, two, three, four, five, six. System administrator. To change the system administration prompt language, press one. To change your password, press five. To transfer to another extension, press star eight. This is where you enter 9 to get into the administrator's uh, menu. This service is restricted to authorized users for legitimate business purposes only. Unauthorized access is a violation of the law. To administer system parameters... In this menu, your options are option 1 is to change system parameters. Under that menu, the sub-menu is option 1 will allow you to change language mode. I believe there is... English, Spanish, French, and I believe there's one more. Option three is to change the call answer service operator. This option is when anybody's in a mailbox and they press zero, they can you know exit out of your voice mailbox, or if anybody's in the auto attendant, the zero option, this is where you change that. Um, option four is to specify the general mailbox owners. Um, so this is if in your auto attendant you tell a customer to leave a message in our general mailbox, this is where you designate um, where that's going to go. Is that going to go to extension 10? Is it going to go to extension 11? So on and so forth. Um, so let's get into that. Again, to get in, intercom 777. Messaging. Extension zero. Please. Enter password followed by the pound sign. Password one through six. System administrator. To change the option nine is a silent language. This service <coughs> is restricted to authorized users for legitimate business purposes only. Unauthorized access is a violation of the law. To administer system parameters, press one. System Please. parameters. To administer the system language mode, press 1. To administer the call answer service operator, press 3. To specify the general mailbox owners, press 4. To set the maximum extension length, press 5. If finished, press star pound. Um, let's change the call answer service operator, which is option 3. The call answer service operator is extension 10. To modify, enter the extension number of the call answer service operator followed by the pound sign. If finished, press star pound. Let's put it to me here at extension 11, so 11 pound. The call answer service operator is extension 11. To administer the system language mode, press 1. To administer the call we'll answer service operator, change the general operator, mailbox press orders. Press 3. To specify the, enter the automated attendant number. If finished, press star pound. This is where you enter in your automated attendant, which let's say it's number one. Invalid entry. Oh, the general automated. mailbox owner for automated attendant there we go. one is extension 10. To modify, enter the extension of the general mailbox owner followed by the pound sign. If finished, press star pound. We'll go ahead and change this one to 11 as well. General mailbox owner for automated attendant one is extension 
11. To administer the system language mode, press 1. Okay. Your next option in that menu is, uh, uh, option 2, is to administer extensions. This is where you set up what extensions have mailboxes, what extensions don't have mailboxes. If a, if a mailbox has an extension, you when you enter in that extension, it'll give you a whole bunch of options on how to change the directory listing, how to change the mailbox length. If we're entering in a mailbox for the first time, it'll ask you to enter in the mailbox, and then it'll ask you to um, if this extension has a phone or if it doesn't. Basically what that means is if you want to set an extension that has no phone, basically for a virtual mailbox, that's where you would assign that. So let's go ahead and get into that. Intercom 777. Welcome to a Via Partner okay. Messaging. So let's go ahead and get back Please in. Enter extension so, number five. zero pound, one through six. System administrator. Option nine. This service is restricted to authorized users. And we won't have this to listen to this every time, so we'll only. just go ahead and hit enter two. You don't have to wait for this whole recording. To administer system parameters, press one. To administer extensions, press, press two. two. Please enter the extension number followed by the pound sign. If finished, press star pound. So let's give extension ten a mailbox. So ten pound. Extension ten is not assigned. To assign a mailbox to this extension, press 1. Well, to assign transfer only permission to this extension, press 2. To assign an automated attendant to this extension, press 3. To assign a fax machine to this extension, press 4. Otherwise, press star pound. We will just enter 1 to assign a phone to it, or to administer the mailbox assigned. Uh, the mailbox. 10 has a phone. If there is a phone associated with extension 10, press 9. Otherwise, press 6. It, uh, press 6 if you want to set it up as a virtual mailbox, which we don't. So let's enter 9 because it has a phone. 10 has a phone. To administer the directory listing or recorded name, press 1. To administer the message length and mailbox size, press 2. To reinitialize the password, press 3. To reinitialize the mailbox, Press 4. To administer outcalling, press 5. To program the mailbox language, press 6. To administer record a call. So the reinitializing the mailbox password, this is where if somebody forgot their password or an associate left and you need to you know, get into that mailbox, this is where you would change the password. Um, when you change the password, the password goes back to default, which is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you reset the mailbox or reinitialize the mailbox, and this deletes all messages and all greetings. Recommend that you, if you want to reset the mailbox, that you first get into that mailbox and check all the voicemail messages before you delete it. In the main menu, your option three is changing auto attendance. This is where when a customer calls in, after, you know, let, let's say we set it up for four rings during, during the day to, you know, go to an auto attendant. This is where you record the auto attendant and where you set up what option, you know, th when they press three, where does that go? What extension does it go to? So on and so forth. With partner messaging, the module, so you have the capability of up to four auto attendants with each auto attendant having a day and night menu. Uh, let's go ahead and get into that. So, intercom 777. Welcome to Avaya Partner Messaging. Please enter extension number followed by the pound sign. Extension zero. Enter password. Password 123456. System administrator. To change the system at Option this nine. This is restricted to authorized users for legitimate business purposes only. Unauthorized access is a violation of the law. To administer system parameters, press one. To administer extensions, press two. To administer automated attendance, press this three. This is what we want to get into. Enter the automated attendant number. If finished, press star pound. 
as I explained, you have up to four uh, automated tenants. Let's just program automated tenant Enter one. The automated attendant. Automated attendant one. To program the day menu, press one. For the night menu, press. Let's do the day menu. Four. To listen to the menu, press two. To modify the menu, press six. If finished, press star pound. We just want to listen to it right now to see what it what it does. To listen to the menu prompt. Press one. The prompt Listen is the actual the greeting. Press two. If finished, press star pound. The definition is what your options, you know, one through nine do. So let's listen, Listen to, to the, the menu prompt. Press one. Uh, Listen menu to prompt. The menu definition. Your call is being answered by the advisor. This is just the default message, or the default greeting. You can enter star pound to exit at any time. Press six. If finished, press star pound. So let's go ahead and modify the menu. Please enter a selector code from 1 to 9, or to administer the dial 0 timeout action, press 0. When finished modifying the menu definition, press star pound. Right now your option 1 is a direct extension transfer because we have extensions you know, 10, through, uh, 10 through 16 or 10 through 18. Um, if you change option one to to do something else to do a uh, go to a directly to an extension if in your auto attendant you want people to reach your extension they won't be able to do that so if you have extensions 10 through let's say 35 or 36 you'll need to leave option one two and three alone Otherwise, people will not be able to get to your extension direct. When you change the selector codes, the different options are uh, to set it as a direct extension transfer, which is what allows you to enter in, you know, extension 10 to go to direct directly to extension 10, or um, I believe it's what you call a, a selector code transfer, which will allow you to when somebody enters option six or presses six it'll go directly to an extension let's go ahead and program that and then we'll go ahead and program the greeting so intercom seven 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 welcome to zero pound followed by two three four five six pound system administrator option nine this service is restricted to all option three for auto attendance the automated attendant number one for auto attendant one one to program the day menu, we'll program press the one. day menu. The, to listen to the menu, press two. To modify the menu, press six. To modify, you press, press six. Star pound. Please enter a selector code from one to nine, or to administer the dial zero timeout action, press zero. Let's change Finish option modify six. The menu selector code six is not used. To modify, press nine. To accept, press six. Let's go ahead and modify it. For selector code transfer, press 1. For submenus, press 2. For announcements, press 3. For direct extension transfer, press 5. For mailbox transfer, press 6. For Centrex transfer, so let's do a mailbox the transfer. The extension number of the mailbox followed by the pound sign. Otherwise, press star pound. We want option 6 to go to mailbox 10. So, 10 pound. Selector code 6 transfers the caller to the mailbox of extension. 10. Please enter a selector code from 1 to 9 or to administer and let's the go dial ahead and zero timeout action. Change the greeting press or zero. record the greeting. When finished modifying the menu definition, press star pound. We're finished defining the what each option does, so star pound. To record a new prompt for this menu, press 1. To use the existing prompt and save any menu definition changes, press pound. If you already have a greeting, you just hit pound. If we want to record a new greeting, we want to hit one to record. Record a new prompt. After recording, press one. Record at the tone. Thank you for calling Exclude Telecommunications. To reach Scott, press extension 10. To reach Jim, press extension 12. To reach our sales mailbox, enter 6. To approve, We're done press recording. Star, pound. To play back, press 2, 3. To re-record, press 2, 1. To if delete, press star 3. We want to play it back, we press 2, 3. Or if we want to re-record, we press 2, 1. To approve, we just want to approve it. Pound. Star pound. Back. Menu pr
prompt and menu definition saved. To listen to the menu, press 2. Okay. When you get first get into the auto attendant submenu, you can also set up submenus and announcements. Announcements are if you want to say option 7 just to play back you know directions to your location this is where you would set up you know you would record in your announcement and then you can set up option 7 to play that announcement your sub menus is if you want to set up another menu underneath your auto attendant so say auto attendant 1 when they enter four, you want to go to directions, and then you'd go into a sub menu where they'd be able to press one if they're coming from the north, two if they're coming from the south, you know, three east, four west, you know, however you wanted to set that up. In the main menu, option six is for line ownership. Generally, you want to leave this alone. This will, option two allows you to scan the line ownerships. Four is to assign lines. To the, to the voicemail. Option six is to modify that and to delete line ownership is star three. Line ownership is if you have a direct line, say your boss has a direct line and you want that, so when somebody calls in and they reach the, the voicemail, you want it to go directly to that person's voicemail box, that's where you would set that up. Uh, option seven in your main menu is group lists. This is where you'd create a group list, a directory listing, or uh, three to review or modify. If at any time during a voicemail or in, in a menu that you don't want to be in or you want to back up one level, you can always press star pound. Star pound 99% of the time gets you back to the previous menu. That concludes this video.